You guys really did it. You did it. It's over. So I'm really not going to jail. You're not going to any place but home. <gasps> oh, can you believe it? It's incredible. Parker. Hey, I'm so happy for you. I knew your dad wouldn't let you down. Well, and thank you. Thank you for all your help along the way. Tom, thank you so much for everything. You were wonderful. Of course, thank you. You never gave up. Even with all that evidence against Parker, we're very grateful. Well, I appreciate you saying all that, but you are the ones that found the evidence and the witness to exonerate your son, but I was really happy you were on my team. <laughs> thanks for being here. I mean, you didn't have to. I, I mean, I know things are weird between you and my dad. Whatever happens, I will always be here for you. I love you, Parker. Love you too, bud. Well, I'm really glad that it worked out the way it did because I gotta tell you, I had my doubts we had a chance of winning this thing, but because of you two, we did. Thanks, Tom. Pleasure. He's right. I'm really sorry. I never should have doubted you guys. I don't blame you. It's a pretty scary thing. Yeah, but I should have believed you. I mean, Mom never gives up, right? And you were the best detective on the force. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're a family. We stick together. And we always will. So what do you say we get out of here? Yeah. You ready? Yeah, I hate this place. Yeah. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I'll be fine. You know what? I think you should see the doctor. No, Carly. Yes, I, I'll drive no. you to the hospital. No, calm right? down. I am going home. All right, well, you just promise me that. But if you need anything, if you need help, you let Meg take a look at you, okay? I promise. But I don't want to go back to the farm. I want to go home with Mom. And you. Yeah, all right, you're right. Why don't we all go to your mom's place uh, and have a little party? Hey, everybody, do you uh, care to join us to celebrate Parker's freedom? I would love to, but I got to get home. Margo's going to be thrilled here. Oh, thanks oh, okay. again, Tom. Sure thing. Yeah, thank you. Well, Listen, thanks, baby, but I've got so many chores to do. But uh, you know something? It's going to be a big apple pie waiting home for you. It's going to have your name right, right on it. Mm. Thank you, Aunt Emma. But. Please make sure Brad doesn't eat it all before I get there. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> Meg, what about you? Are you going to go to the party, or do you want to share a cab with me? I'd be more than happy to give you both a ride. No, no, that's yeah. not necessary. You know what? That would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Come on. What about you two? You, you up for a celebration? We'd love to have you. Oh, you know what? I have to get you back know, to I'll the studio. You know, I will be there. Wouldn't miss it. Great. What? It's for Parker. We have to go. Oh, Ruby. I'm glad you're still here. I I'd like you to meet my son, Parker. Th this is Ruby Fisk. Hello. Thanks for what you said in there. She's a very brave woman. Nah, I... Didn't have anything better to do today. I was gonna go to jail, and now I'm not going to because of you. Jail's no place for a boy your age. Ruby, there must be something that, that we can do for you. Oh. Some way to repay you? Yeah, cash always works. <laughs> it would be our pleasure. <sighs> right, Fred? Fred? Sure. Oh, uh, yeah, ab yeah, absolutely. It's not much, but. Yeah, this will come in handy. <laughs> Um, here you go. It was nice to be needed. Good luck to y'all. Ruby, I, 
I really can't thank you enough. There, is there something else I can do? Anything? Love your kid. That's what it's all about. I'm glad to see this place again. You're back! <laughs> Welcome home! I need you something. I am glad you are free and back home with us. Love, Sage. It's really cool. Thank you. Hey, can I have my rabbit food back? Yeah, it was pretty lame. Well, it worked, didn't it? Yeah, you're right. Hey, I got a new soccer game. You want to play? I play winner. <laughs> Who's hungry? I'm starved. And what else is new? Yeah, now that you mentioned it, I could use a bite. All right, I'll make some sandwiches, okay? I'll give you a hand. Um, okay. Oh, we're never gonna eat, are we? Not if they kill each other first. Hurts, huh? I live. You were always better at handling pain than I was. Yeah, that's because I'm a lot tougher than you. <laughs> no, yeah. don't make me laugh. Yeah, right, right. So I guess you'll be recuperating here, huh? Wait, you're kicking me out of Emma's already? No, no, I'm not. I mean, it's not that. I just thought you'd be more comfortable here. It's really hectic at the farm. It's so so loud out there. <laughs> yeah, that nature, it's, it's deafening. Seriously, you really need to take care of yourself after everything you've been through. I think you'd want to be close to your... Kids, I'm sure they want you here. I know Carly does. Okay, stop. <laughs> Let's not pretend this isn't weird, because it is. Right? Well, I was just trying to help. I know. I, I, I appreciate it. Despite our differences, I, I do appreciate everything you've done. Well, you don't have to thank me. I did it for Parker. And for Jack? Well, of course I wanted to help Jack. I know how much his kids mean to him. And you want to make him happy? Why wouldn't I? He was a very important part of my life. I'll always want what's best for him. What if he decides that's me? Well, I, uh, if that's what Jack wants, then I'll be happy for him. For both of you. Good. I do. But don't count on anything, Carly. You know, Jack has a say in what his future holds, and he hasn't been too eager to tell either of us what's going on. So what if Carly gets what she wants, if it's good for the kids? Well, the kids are always going to be my main priority, but I don't want Carly to misread the situation. But we both know that she tends to see things her way. All I'm saying is I think it would be nice if something good came out of Parker's arrest and you see, getting shot. History has shown that Carly and I don't work, and I really don't think there's anything that's going to change that, OK? So I don't want to get anybody's hopes up. Not Carly's, not the kids, and I'm sorry. Bloody not even yours. Hey, we're starving out here. What are you guys doing in there? Just figuring out who gets what. Mustard? No, thanks. Can you pass the mail? Sure. What's a turkey sandwich without mustard? Huh? It's a turkey sandwich without mayo. Right, Katie? All right. Hey, I, I, I like mayo, too. So uh, pass it this way. Mind? I've never seen you put mayonnaise on anything, Jack. Mayo is one of the food groups, no? Like, you already put mustard on there. You, you, you know, you can't have both. Right, yeah, Brad's right. They don't really mix well together. Snyder. Hey, Jack, I've got good news. I just got a call from Chicago PD, and they managed to track down Katie and Brad's money. It was in a bank account that Kit set up. Terrific. All of it? Every penny. That's great. Well, I'll give them the good news. Uh, we can finally put this whole mess behind us. Yeah, almost. Margo, anything all right? I, I've been so focused on Parker. Yeah, there's something um, that I need to tell you. 
So, Chicago PD is wiring money back to both of your accounts. You should have it in there first thing Monday morning. Oh, that is such a relief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sick of buying you lunch every day. You worried about Margot, huh? That psycho could have killed her and Casey. Not to mention what he did to Brad and Henry. What did you have to do with any of this? It's nothing. Gray tried to poison him. What? What happened? Look, it's not a big deal. Don't make a big deal out of it, okay? It was, I mean, it wasn't even meant for me, and I'm, I'm totally fine. I, how are you two involved with this, this mob guy, huh? Gray was dating Vienna, and we tried to help Henry win her back. It's, it's not a big deal. Since when are you so modest? You got Henry and Vienna back together. That's true. If he listened to you, he'd still be crying in a bag of potato chips. Hmm. Sounds like you guys make a good team. Uh, well, I'm gonna get going. I really want to check in on Margo. You know what? I'll walk you out. Thanks again for everything you tried to do for Parker. Oh, I'm so just glad I could help. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I had no idea. That's okay. You were dealing with your family. I understand. Yeah. Well, that's all over. That chapter is finally closed. Yes, it is. Mm. Thank you for the chow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna head out. Yeah. Give you two some quiet time. Okay, listen. Thank you for all your support through this whole mess. It meant a lot to us, and Parker feels the same way. But I always got your back. All right. Hey, let me help you. No, no, no. You stay right where you are. You're still recuperating, remember? I'm a bit wiped. Thanks for all this. Yeah. Today was nice, huh? Yeah, about that. You Listen. know, I didn't realize that Katie and Brad had gotten so close. Carly. I just mean that it's, it's nice to see friends helping each other out. Yeah. And that's all they are, friends. Anyway, uh, it got me thinking. I'd like to help you out, Jack. As a friend, of course. Why don't you let me take care of you while you recuperate? It would make the kids so happy to have us all here in the house together. It would make things a lot easier for you. What do you say? Brad kind of had the same idea. Well, you see? Because it makes perfect sense. This whole nightmare with Parker, it, it, it hurt our whole family. You're not the only one who needs to heal. Everybody seems pretty good to me. Hey, what's going on? Fine. I rest my hands.